Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Frostpunk on the edge. I'm nearby to the ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, well, <laughs> we need to decide the fate of New London. The same people who betrayed us, the same people who cast us out on this forgotten bygone outpost, the same people who thought that limiting our food supply and not answering the questions is gonna be a great idea to solve problems. Well, now we can actually say fuck them and you know do nothing or actually we could try to help them because instead of having executioner <laughs> executioner army coming from us for us from new london to our little outpost over here what we got was a group of refugees a group of people broken by illness hunger and cold and apparently new london Oh, it's exactly that fate. So what we need to do is we need to contact the other settlements and ask them what we should try to do with the New London. And apparently we got this thing. Fate of New London. How quickly the mood changes? We are ready to fight New London now. Many want to help them despite the huge cost. After all, still, we have friends and relatives there. On the other hand, if we let New London fail, we could take full control of it. Although many of these inhabitants would die, we'd also have to prepare for a massive wave of refugees. Yeah, let's think what so far has led us by gu getting guided by hatred and lack of understanding and lying. Yeah, exactly the fate of New London. So let's maybe let, let's maybe not be the dick this time, okay? Let's actually try to communicate with the other settlements and see what they have to say about us. Can you help us with New London? Uh, we have some problems. Can you help us now? Apparently we have to go with this one. Let's see. All those wealthy new Londoners are scum. No offense, pal. You're different, but they can go to hell with their old degenerators and fancy houses. They grew too big and the world will cut them down. If you help them, then they'll only stab you in the back. Mark my words. In the end, each of us should stand on or fail, fall on their own. We say, let your London fail, but we owe you and we will help you whatever you do. Thanks. Okay, so apparently they are not really kind to the idea of us helping New London. So that's one point against them. Let's see what New Springs have to say. Hot Springs, not New Springs. That's not Fallout. We don't know much of New London, but it seems to us that, unlike you, its people failed to adapt and change the world. If you let the city fall, they will strengthen your ranks and learn your ways. If you help them instead, your people might yet become assimilated by them. The nature is our ultimate judge. It is useless to dispute uh, her learnings, but whatever you decide, we won't deny you help if you ask for it. Okay, so I bet you're also against that thing. All of you just want to lead to more hatred. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Hatred br brings birth to more hatred. And what about the children's mind? Okay, we started to hear about the plight of New London into the minds of the tragic fate of Winterholm. We should try to help them. Some of our children might have relatives there. If we leave them to their fate, many will die, and this world suffer too much death already. The decision is yours, but whatever you choose to save New London or not, we'll help you as much as we can. You must stand together, or we'll freeze all alone. Yeah, that's exactly the thing. That See? They are the most stupid fraction. But apparently they are the most smart one as well. This one moment actually humanity should try to stand together. Uh, let's see, do I got any new research actually? That was the first question that I have. I don't think so. No, I don't see any new potential research over here. So that's great or not great depending on how you're going to look at that. Okay. We've made a decision. Time to contact Nilo London. We have an answer. We can't endure much longer. You hear us out. We beg you. We've shredded your body, mislead you, and we were wrong. Although we still believe we are one people, you will respect your automata if you save our city. If you refuse, many will die, but many more will flee to your outposts and every other settlement they can get to. You can't possibly accommodate them all. So how many lives are at stake? Please, don't forsake them. What is your answer? My answer is to go fuck yourself. But also, I don't have enough room for you bastards over here, and all of you smell of... Okay, <laughs> all of you smell of fish sticks, and I hate fish. We will save you. Farewell. Well, okay, well fuck you too. Wait, did I choose the right one? Yeah, I think I said... Okay, save New London, right. 
Saving in London. The London economy is a shambles. We will need a lot of coal to keep them warm. Due to the cold, of, uh, a lot of their workers are sick, which means that our people will have to replace them. If I miss, we'll heal the gravy ill, but to build them, we need to send steel and steam cores. Their food economy is stretched to the maximum since the beginning, so a shipment of food rations will be a great aid. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Right. Okay, and what do you want? We've heard that you choose to spare the doves. Too bad. What is your choice, as we said? Alas, we too will have to face the consequences. We we'll send them the workers they need to get their goods, uh, to get on their good side and to keep an eye on them. We know a thing or two about generators, having built a few. So we'll take off. We'll take a look at theirs. Thank you. And that's one thing solved. What about children's mine? We rejoice at the new news that you have decided to help New London. After so much death, heavy seventh life is all the more precious. We shall double our efforts and deliver the coal, uh, the coal shipment for them. You don't need to trouble yourself with it. Thank you. Okay, so that's two things done. Uh, the shipment of coal is going there. Shipment of building materials. I don't think so. Probably I have to send those things on my own. Yeah, those things too are going. Uh, I need to prepare steam cores. Okay, swap the, swap the warehouse. Start preparing that thing. Oh, how interesting. This thing is... Oh, I thought for a second that the game is paused. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, that would be an exploit we could try to use next time. But as much as I would like to say, fuck New London, this is actually, I believe, uh, a good decision. Also, I kind of need to build myself, uh, I think, one more infirmary. Just in case. Yeah, I, that's gonna cost me a steam core, but that's okay. We got, we got lots of steam cores. Right, build that thing really quick. Come on, come on. Good job, boys. Good job. Alright, in the meantime, uh... Let's get this thing done and get me the steam cores. I really need a lot of steam cores, right? Bloody now. Also, why the fuck the kitchen is not working? Yo, hello! Get to work! No, you have people inside, I don't know. Okay, black bank is done. Uh, what else we need to do? Let's see, food. We need to send them food as well. Alright, that should not be a problem. My guys are working on the food. Uh, steam cores. Maximum efficiency! Okay, food is ready to be sent. Send food ratios immediately. Good. Okay, we're gonna replenish those things really quick. Uh, right, heaters extension have been researched. So, just in case if something is gonna go to shit, uh, we can counter that work. And send. Okay, now we just need to get some steel. What? The big shipment of coal, you just said, is essential for our survival. The generator is acting up, even at the lowest settings, and many buildings don't get enough heat. Now we can do, now we can do, to, we can to do something to keep people warm and healthy. Thank you. Yeah, screw you. This is what, this is what you get for betraying me, you know. <laughs> You're actually getting the good stuff. <laughs> Dipshits. Okay, send the steam cores and steel as well. The caravan should be leaving the warehouse. Ah, speaking of the devil, they are just leaving. Go. Bring you London good news. Bring them the news that this time. Their sins will be forgotten, but only this time. And speaking of sins, okay, food supply is going. Uh, workers are going, I believe. Transport. Workers, okay, and the other transport. What's the other transport? Still a steam course. Okay, so that should arrive at the same time at New London. Right, is there anything else we could try to research, we could try to do? I don't think so. I think I have everything. I know I'm playing on the easiest difficulty, but... <laughs> You know, a victory is a victory. <laughs> Nobody's gonna judge you. Because history is rooting by the victors anyway. Ah, speaking of, new uh, shipment has arrived. I'm guessing this is... This is probably lumber? Yeah, that's probably lumber. Great, awesome. I actually need lumber. A bit of a... A bit of a lumber won't hurt. Stop going outside of the settlement. Thank you. Okay, well... There's nothing else for us to do right now. We just have to sit back and, well, wait. And wait. Oh, mines will be more efficient. Sure, let's let's get some more research because there's nothing else for me to do right now. There we go. Okay, we've taken care of the sick. We've taken care of the hungry. Uh, New London received coal. New London is about to receive food, steam and steel. 
uh, as, well, as well as uh, 50 workers then got from the from the from the shipwreck camp actually the numbers didn't reduce that's that's interesting yeah how do you feel new london how do you feel i should really abandon you know <laughs> i don't know who was leading you last time but he he sucks it was you well shut up sending us the food rations you are complimented more than just saving us from starvation we rekindled hope among our people we're still hungry but we know what it took to deliver this much and we appreciate this a lot glad to hear it and I hope you know how to pay back because this is this is just a small loan <laughs> and I'm about to take it back at some point okay I think we got everything right we got full food that's nice uh, call is getting delivered this content is not my problem I don't know why I'm losing call like crazy right now it's a bit terrifying probably I should try to upgrade the uh, the mine you know I'm gonna need some more steam cores, of course. There we go. That should help. Get me a steam core, and we're gonna upgrade the mine. What? The workers have said us are great help. Nearly all of our facilities are uh, understaffed. Many of our workers are sick, and even more are weakened by hunger. You people give us hope that we uh, still have a chance. Yeah. Think about it next time. And done. That was quick. The end. The city is saved. We did it. New London is no longer in danger of collapse. It was a trying time for all. Full of strife and discord, but that's behind us now. Despite all the misunderstanding and unnecessary grudges, we serve past our differences and let a helping hand to those in need. The last city on earth remains the best hope of mankind, but how long will its people remember the lessons that it was discord, not the great storm that turned out to be the ultimate threat? Well done. It's finished. We have prevailed. The little outpost saved the grand city of New London. What now? I don't know. I never actually get this far. Oh! A time lapse of. of, of really, you've made a, a, a time, time stamp of, of my mistakes. Okay. We were just an outpost ruled by New London. Oh, that's cute. They changed the rules. Exploited us. So we rose and cut our ties. Good thing it's not the tires that you've cut. To stand against New London. We've sought friends. We've sent them support. And their settlements thrived. I like this. <laughs> then our former masters turned it out, turned it up to beg for rescue, and we saved the city with the help of our allies. We advert a disaster. Takes go cooperation. And we learned it, the lesson that the ultimate threat was not the storm, but discord. This is actually a really cool, you know, software, you know, if you want to use to talk to, to your friends during gameplay and stuff like that. New London Territory, population 875, 1987, 1916. That's the end, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's the actual end of the final DLC. Of Frostpunk. I, I know I failed miserably to show you the previous DLCs because, well, I'm terrible at the game. I haven't actually finished it completely because I still fucking fail at the game a lot of times. But yeah, maybe, maybe I should actually try to accomplish some of this. Maybe I should actually try to accomplish the base game. Maybe I should actually try to accomplish uh, the DLCs as well. So it got me thinking because, uh, as the final DLC states, the Great Storm was apparently not the biggest threat, but human discord. Uh, I do wonder, because, well, if you all are familiar already, uh, the game takes place, I believe, in on Great Britain, the island of Great Britain, which is obviously England, and Wales, 
in Scottish, in North Ireland, and stuff like that. But the thing is that, what happened to the rest of Europe? Because you're not gonna tell me that the Great Storm hit only Great Britain. I do believe that the Great Storm have hit at least Europe. So, now brings the question, what exactly happened to the rest of the world? What happened to, to France? What happened to Poland? What happened to Germany? To Italy? To Spain? And a bunch of other countries that we have in Europe. Uh, and is this actually uh, an opening to Frostpunk 2? Like, will Frostpunk 2 have more of a like military aspect? Will actually Frostpunk 2, if they ever gonna make Frostpunk 2, will have an actual uh, threat of other humans that, you know, the storm still lingers around. It still can hit you back really hard. But now you have to worry about the second threat, which are, of course, humans. So, you know, ju just saying, that's that's maybe gonna be the thing that's gonna happen in Frostpunk 2. Maybe we're gonna face uh, frozen Nazis. I don't know. Looking forward to it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and yeah, well, if you're looking for like a really good survival uh, let's say city building game Frostpunk is available on Steam link in the description below if I remember correctly the game is dead cheap at this point in time so feel free to get it by legal or on legal means if you really want to but still consider supporting the developers and well I really hope that eventually we're gonna see Frostpunk 2 and I'm looking forward into what new shenanigans we will have to face <laughs> this it was the great storm this time so next time we're gonna face the great summer everybody's gonna burn down mark my words it's gonna be exactly the thing it's gonna be called not frost punk it's gonna be called uh sunburn punk exactly that's gonna be the thing <laughs> looking forward to this ladies and gentlemen but for now i'm gonna quit my rumbling over here and leave the episode as always thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed the like episode please helps a lot and see you in the next video